hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is Sam. I, I saw this on uh, punch news on facebook and i wanted to share it right and i started to share it so it basically is a short one it's just i took a screenshot from their facebook uh, post it says i have been having issues with my stepmother but on that day thursday i had just observed prayers and returned to our house my father was sitting in the sitting room then my stepmother entered holding a piece and chaining me with it so um for a nigeria when they say peace is not it's not a you know what you think about if you're american or whatever that's not what it is just ignore the sunlight is making my camera completely all washed out so uh, what's it called um there's this thing we use for pounding food it's like a wooden i'll put a picture of it somewhere so that you guys can get an understanding of what it is it's basically what you use to mash up yam and stuff like that so if we mash up yam to make pounded yam, it looks similar to like mashed potatoes and, you know, stuff like that. So basically, uh, that's what he said the stepmother brought towards him. And why, so basically is why I killed my stepmother. Well, obviously, his stepmother is not around now to tell her side of the story. But the boy reported that it was the stepmother that brought it first and then he used it on her. The boy has claimed that he used it in self-defense and all of that. And eventually, actually, he hurt his own father on the leg. They said the father is on, in the hospital, which, uh, you know, um, he was hurt on his leg. And uh, like I said, his stepmother is not around to tell her side of the story. Uh, the police report say that he hit the stepmother on the head several times. Okay. And um, all of that. Now, what I personally, to be honest, when I read that, like I always say, when I see something in the news, if there's something, a message that comes to my mind or something, a message that I feel I can share, that is when I see the need to make a video about it. So the message I want to share in this video is this, right? I personally, this is how I feel about it. I've never found myself in a position where I'm raising stepchildren or, you know, something like that. But, um, you know, but I want to say that this is how I think or this is how I feel. That if you find yourself in a step situation, if you know what I mean, step children from a, a new relationship, whatever. Personally, I think the best thing when it comes to disciplining such children, I think you should leave that to their biological father or mother. Like, a, like if you're a man that married a woman that already has children, or if you're a woman that married a man that already has children, I believe you should leave the disciplining aspect of it to their biological father or mother. Because you see, sometimes there are some things that a biological mother may do and the child will accept it. Okay, that's my mother. But if a stepmother does it, it may feel like because I'm not, I'm not her child. Do you know what I mean? A lot of us can you know, share stories of growing up in homes where some things that were done to us were like, you know the way, our, especially in our African homes, you know the way the children are raised and some things. There are some parents that have raised their children. You know what I mean? They don't love their children, but you know this tough-handedness and, uh, you know, all this, you know, is it children that have been flogged? I have seen biological parents flog children in Nigeria. Flog you go, they want to say, and I dare bond speaking, you know. But people will be like, eh, na, 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 papana, na, na, mama, na. it will, you understand. But if someone is step father, step mother, it's not going to be seen the same way. Am I supporting that kind of bitch? I'm not, I'm just using that as an example, right? Now, there's a, some things that uh, so a child's biological parents may do. They will just accept it. But if it's not their biological parent, they may feel, that's the word, may feel like, oh, is it because I'm not her, her biological son or biological daughter? Do you know what I'm trying to say? It comes off like that. It can, not in all cases. But this is how I personally feel about it. I feel like if you're a man or a woman and you're married to someone that already has children, leave the disciplining aspect to their biological parent. You may call them, if they're not around and they came back from work, be like, okay, um, this one did this will that one did that will and leave it at that and leave the biological parents to handle it step situation is not more and more there are some people that are blessed that they you know they got into step situation and it went smoothly there are people like that but you see when a 20 something year old 25 they said this boy is 25 year old he's still at home he's an adult you understand 25 year old they said he's still in college in Nigeria. We say in university, university. So he's still an adult. Clashing of wills. Do you know what it is to have an adult child of that age, twenty something year old? And the, by the way, the stepmother is sixty year old. I'm looking at this news, right? And I'm saying to myself, this woman is sixty year old. What will? It, I'm, I'm just being honest. This is what came to my mind. What kind of way can a sixty year old woman? 
annoy a young 25 year old to warrant something like this you know 60 year old is a grandma basically you know what i mean 60 years is an elderly woman what will an elderly woman have done this is how i felt about it to have deserved this kind of a thing and from the what the boy said his parents split up i'm, I'm thinking long a while back so this elderly woman would have raised him up to the age of 25. I'm, I'm being honest like in what way will an will a grandma a, an old woman an elderly woman offend a young 24 year old it's possible he was having a terrible bad day that day and he snapped it's possible i don't know what was going on right oh i don't know what was going on that's another thing as well about having adult children at home like 25 year old is not a baby he's an adult real adult right and in most cases, I don't know, but I, I, the chances of that happening is less. If that was his biological mother, come to the area of, you know, when some people say, ah, this is why I'll never marry a man that already has children. Or, ah, this is why I'll never marry a woman that already has children. There is, see, that's one thing about this life. Everything is a choice. People can make that choice from day one. There's no problem. But I want us to remember, there are people that have raised their children without any, anything like this. So let's not group them all together right something else i want to point out is the area of um you know when some people say as a person that already has children marrying somebody to come into that your life right they find people like a man or woman that's married someone a man or woman that already has children sometimes you feel like you hear things like oh they love their children more than you or stuff like that i don't think that's really what it is in most cases because you see you can't compare things that are not the same a partner or husband or wife is different from your child and the love that you have for your husband or wife is different from the love you have for your children they are two different things i made a video once in which i was saying you know um it's like asking most well, people say who do you love most your children or your your your, your the person you married or you know whatever i, I told somebody once i said it's like asking somebody what do you like more um a toyota or rice you're not comparing like to like you, you know you know what i mean because you see a toyota is a vehicle why rice is food if you ask somebody what do you prefer jollof rice or fried rice then you are comparing like to like your husband and wife and your children they are not like to like they are different things because they play different roles in your life there is a role that your husband or your wife plays that your children will never play in your life so they are different you get my point but it's about responsibility sometimes when you f see people say oh I, I can't marry a man that already has children he will love his children more than you i don't marry a woman that has children she will love it's not necessarily that there is something about people taking their responsibilities seriously raising your children to the point where they grow up and they become financially and everything independent like put them through college or training or whatever so that they can grow up and become adult you owe that to your children you owe it to them no child asks to be born so you have to raise them until their leg you know like the saying go until their legs strong for ground and then you can say okay i have done my part as a parent i've raised them to go start their own lives so it's a responsibility that you owe to god to your child to your society is your responsibility to raise your children to be responsible members of society so they can contribute positively to society. You don't want to raise children that will be a nuisance to society. You don't want to raise children that will become the next uh, Yahoo people, arm robbers or whatever. You want to raise children that will contribute positively to society. It is something you owe it to society, to your child, to, to, to God. Right? But relationship is different. In the sense that you're not marrying this man or this woman to come and raise him or you don't you, the kind of responsibility you owe to your relationship is not the same that you owe to children so when you see parents that are dedicated and they say okay i'm married to this new wife or, or to this new husband or whatever your situation is right and but i'm not joking with this my responsibility i take it seriously that responsibility they take seriously is what some people sometimes misinterpret as loving their children more than their husband or loving their children more than their wife or whatever how i feel is that children are your responsibility relationship is a choice you see children you don't have a choice you have to raise them because they didn't choose to be born i really hope i'm making sense because i know that's the other area that 
comes up a lot about you know stuff like that mm -hmm. i think i've gone here and then I, I hope i have brought out some points but uh, i think the most important point that i really want to bring out i think people that find themselves in situations like that especially when the relationship is not going smoothly the children are arguing with you because you're not the biological mother whatever right or they are at that age where they feel like they are adult they can do what you like why are you disturbing me you know what i mean i believe the best thing is to leave them to their biological father or mother to do the discipline and when i say discipline giving out to them like why did you do this da, 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 whatever leave it to that's my opinion you know what i mean leave it to them to avoid situations like this when i read that story it was honestly it's really sad 60 year old woman and let me tell you do you know that even though they said that several times he hit his stepmother on the head his father was only on the leg he hit his father think about it his father is they said he's in hospital but only on the leg he hit his father he didn't hit his father on the head you see what i'm trying to say you know it's quite a sad story but uh, i just wanted to bring it here as always this is how i see it and this is my you know personal opinion and uh, as always especially if you are situations like that and you have experience to share or advice to add please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and with that i'm going to say thank you for watching until the next time guys bye bye bye